Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. Tonight I'm coming at you from the Fountain Valley Skating Center with another tutorial where we cover edges. Edges, huge topic. So tonight we're just gonna break down forward skating edges and in a subsequent video we'll do the backwards one. Now, when you're just skating along, grooving to the music, you may not even know that you're skating on your edges. But when you decide, hey, I want to do a three turn, maybe I'm going to do some crosses, I'm going to step, I'll do a waltz jump and a series of one leg spins, then I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe some mohawk turns, maybe some cross pulls, maybe I'm going to dig deep here, spin around, get down, woo, come back around. All of this is just a function of edges. Once you are able to understand your edges, identify them, you can then use them to your advantage. The other thing you can do is when you see someone skate and you're looking, you're like, God, I love how they skate. I love what they do. You can actually start really looking at them and saying, oh my God, that's a left outside edge to a right inside edge or whatnot, okay? so. Tonight, we're going to identify our edges. We're going to work on our edges and give you a practice plan for next week so we can do something even better. All right, skaters? Follow me. All righty, skaters. Let's talk edges, forward skating edges, and we're going to start with the right outer forward edge. When we talk about body posture, and if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I'm a stickler for body posture. I like your chin up, I like your shoulders straight across, I like your arms down. I like your palms facing down, not open, down. I like your snack area tight. When we focus on our outside edges, what we're doing is we're dropped our body weight down, we've shifted our body weight over to our right, because we're talking about a right outer forward edge. My knee is pushed slightly over my baby toe so I can feel the pressure of my foot on the outside of the boot. The rest of my body is slightly over the top of my boot. Okay, so there's a lot of weight here. When I'm using my right outer forward edge, my corresponding or supporting edge is going to be my left inner but it only has about maybe 10% of the body weight on it. Realistically, we're doing all the work right here. So again, you're gonna stand here, put your arms out, drop your body weight, rock or shift your body weight over to your right foot. Bend that knee, push that knee over your baby toe. We're gonna have this right over the top of our skate. So you've got to identify your edge. We've done this just by standing here. You say, okay, you know, I'm lean over, I know what it is, but skating wise, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna use just these two cones to illustrate this. We skate, we're just gonna do a big circle. I'm gonna be up, my body weight is down. I'm up, drop my body weight down. I'm up, I drop my body weight down. When I do that, you can see that my left foot kind of rides out there. Again, it's just like a rudder. It's not really doing anything but helping me hold position. All of my focus is having my body over the top of this skate and my chest pointing in the direction that I want to skate. Let's do it again. So my body weight's up, I drop my body weight down. Body weight up, drop my body weight down. Another trick is drop your body weight down, look at the other cone. Look at the other cone. When you do this, you can help better establish your outside edge and you can help get your upper body in the right position to eventually get where you need to go. I always say look into your future. You don't want to look straight down unless you want to fall. I mean, by all means, keep looking straight down. But if you want to get to the other cone, Right now, I want to get to this cone, so I'm looking at it. Drop my body weight down, shift my body weight over, right over to this cone, all right? Now, it is the exact same when we're doing a left outer forward edge. We're just gonna go in the opposite skating direction. So I'm gonna skate this way, drop my body weight down, look at the corresponding cone, drop my body weight down, leaning, leaning, 
knee over baby toe, pressing my right inner edge, just helping, just supporting, okay? Now you need to be able to put them together. And one trick is you are down, body weight's down to hold an edge, body weight is up to change edges. So we're gonna do a simple figure eight here. When we do a figure eight, we're gonna come around. I'm gonna say right outer forward, hold, hold, hold. Up, 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 left outer forward. Up, 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 right outer forward. Up, 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 left outer forward. Up, up, up. Your corresponding or your supporting edge is helping you with a little bit of momentum, power, or speed. So as we come around, I'm holding my edge. I might push just a little bit. Up, up, up. Drop down to my edge. Push. Up, up, up. Drop down to my edge and push. You always see me with my arms out nice, long, and lean. When you're skating for fun and for recreation and everything, I certainly don't expect to see you in this body posture. However, when we're learning how to balance and we're doing something repetitively like this, you cannot have your arms flying all over. And also, you can't just have your arms doing whatever they want. They are literally helping balance and direct the lower half. So I need them out, up, 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 shift. They're helping me shift my body weight. They're helping me balance my body weight. So even though it may not be the style you want, please remember that we are going through the mechanics we're going through the flow, and then it's your job to put the style on afterwards. But when we're repetitively doing something, keep your arms out nice and straight. Now, that's the simplest way to practice your outside edges. And you may wonder, what are outside edges even used for? So, stay right there. When you're skating along at the beach, at the rink, these are outside I'm just leaning from side to side and I'm pressing on the outside of my boot. I've got my knee over my baby toe. I'm leaning on my outside edges. When I go to do turns, this is an outside edge to an inside edge. If I want to do stopping, T-stop, inside edge. So edges are used for everything, these outside edges. Now let's talk about inside edges. Inside edges can prove to be a tiny bit more difficult to master because it's very helpful if you can skate on one foot. So let's talk about inside edges. Things that are similar, body posture. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, arms down with the palms down. Now, I want you to bend both knees and see if you can pick up one foot and not rock your weight over to the outside, meaning not do that. Let's see if you can pick it up and keep your knee poised over your big toe as opposed to your little toe. So let's see if we can pick it up and go like this. So my knee right here is over my big toe. When I think about how to identify your inside edge, I like to look at the cones straight and think as I approach them, I'm going to draw a big C, draw a big C. I approach the cone, draw a big C, approach the cone, draw a big C. Again, this can be more difficult because you really have to be able to skate on one foot. But let's say, hey, you're like, nope, not gonna happen. You can't skate on one foot yet. No problem. Let's just think about it as scooping your way through. So you're going to bend both knees, pick up one, set it down. All right, so let me do it straight this way. I skate with both knees bent. I pick up one foot and just lean my knee over my big toe. Let me do it again. I'm going to skate forward, bend both knees, pick up one foot, Try to draw my C. Pick up the other foot, try to draw my C. Now, don't get, come on with me. Don't get hung up 
on the idea that it's about your knee or really about your foot. As I've told you before, all of skating is transferring body weight. The end part of it is going to be your foot, which the skate is obviously attached to. So super important, except I don't want you to get involved in an idea that I've got to turn my knee, because I don't want you to get injured. I really want you to use your body weight. Stay right there, I'm coming to you. So if I'm skating forward, bend both knees, lift up one, rotate my upper body, my body weights up, I bring it down, body weights up, bring it down. All right. What do we use inside edges for? Inside edges are super important, especially if you want to be a very fast and powerful skater. So if you see a skater that is like a speed skater or they want to get a lot of speed, they are skating off their inside edges. What's really interesting is if you watch speed skaters, you can be on inlines or ice skating, it's all the same. You're gonna see them really hardcore accessing their inside edges. Okay, stay right there. I'm gonna come to you and just show it to you real quick. So I'm skating forward, and if I do a series of inside edges, I'm gonna come at you really quick and strong. The other thing inside edges are great for, how about this is really typical for roller derby, you're skating forward and you decide, I want to stop down, <laughs> inside edges. You are taking your body weight from an up position to a down position, you are pushing out, knee is going over your big toes to stop. So, of course, spins, I mean you can do a lot of spins that are on inside edges. All right, so skaters, this is what I want you to do. You can be a beginner skater or an advanced skater. Number one thing is you've got to be able to identify your edges and be able to access them. I cannot tell you how simple this skill to practice is. You need hardly any space. You can do it indoors or outdoors. You need two cones. You don't have cones, use a shoe. A can of beer, I don't care what you use. Just have these markers identified and do an ungodly amount of figure eights. A lot. Now, I get this a lot. People, you cannot be good foot in it. That means you can do it one way, but you can't do it the other. I can turn one way, I can't turn the other. I can push with one foot, I can't push with it. I can't have it. You got two skates on your feet, you gotta be able to turn both directions. So, doing figure eights, after you've done ovals, and then figure eights, if you can do that, you can skate either direction. You'll see that some of the best skaters can access their edges going both directions, so please, Focus on this and then take into consideration that you need to practice tracing C's. And you can do that with a series of cones to access your inside edges, all right? So that's all I got for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on edges. Again, subsequent video, we'll do back outside and back inside edges, all right? So please, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Give me comments and I will be sure to get in touch with you, okay? You guys have so much fun this week and go practice.